There are an estimated 270 million guns in the hands of civilians in the United States, making Americans the most heavily armed people in the world per capita. Yemen, a tribal nation with no history of strong central government or the rule of law, comes in a distant second. Most guns are in the hands of careful and law-abiding citizens, but not all. By one estimate, guns shoot more than 100,000 people a year in the U.S., when the number of homicides, suicides, and accidents were all added together. America's collective memory of the Wild West in the 1800s, the assassinations of John F. Kennedy and Martin Luther King half a century ago, is punctuated by gun violence. In fact, there were guns in America long before America was even born. Early settlers in several states were required by law to own and maintain weapons as a matter of collective defense. By the time the U.S. was established, its citizens had taken up arms not only against their Native American neighbors, but the army of their own king. The new Constitution reflected that in its Bill of Rights, declaring that a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. For more than two centuries, that remained an important but largely overlooked guarantee, subjected to a modest series of controls. But in 2008 and 2010, landmark Supreme Court rulings gave that constitutional right sweeping new power, dramatically diminishing government authority to limit gun ownership. As legal reforms helped guns, so did one increasingly powerful lobby, the National Rifle Association. Once a relatively modest organization of gun enthusiasts and hunters, has become one of the most powerful political groups in the country. It helps elect candidates to Congress and works to overturn gun control laws in the courts. Norway is still mourning a mass murder that killed 77 people most of them teens, proof that America is by no means unique. But America does seem to be the place the whole world thinks of when apparently ordinary people use guns for gruesome acts of violence. America stands alone in its historic and cultural attachment to guns. America stands armed. Jonathan Mann, CNN, reporting.